Give me one um, final question before I pass back to Alma, which is a question that I have myself. Um, and it's probably something that I've noticed a bit um, in previous years and perhaps maybe with the advent of social media in terms of that there often appears to be quite a bit of negativity around careers and academia in different disciplines, um, I guess, and many disciplines at times. And I'm kind of wondering how can we highlight the perhaps the more meaningful and the rewarding aspects of academia, given, yes, there's issues, but there, there is yeah. often, you know, quite rewarding aspects. So just your perspectives on that before I pass back to Alma. Thanks, Alma. Yeah, and, and that's a, a really, really great point. And yes, social media can bring a lot of negativity. Um, of course, there are, as we talked about, a lot of things wrong in academia. But we also need to realize that as academics, we're all kind of trained to see flaws and problems everywhere. So sometimes we do focus too much on the negatives and we tend to embellish almost bad experiences and, and our lack of agency in, in these experiences. Horror stories about nasty reviewers, nasty reviewer too. Um, and paper rejections. There's so much more fun and interesting to share than something like, oh, my paper had great reviewers and I sailed through. How often do you hear someone say that? It does happen sometimes, but they won't repeat that. So really let's try and, and, and take a proactive role in emphasizing the positives. And this is something that I started early in 2022 uh, which I've called the year of positive academia. I even created my own hashtag positive academia. Um, and there's a couple of things I do um, under that hashtag. I share um, positive news, I share resources, but most of all, I share um, LinkedIn recommendations that I've written for my colleagues. And I don't know whether you all know this feature of LinkedIn. You can write a recommendation for someone. It's about a, a bit like writing a reference letter, but then public and much shorter. Uh, and I've written about 50 or 60 um, of those. Um, and I find that little gestures like this can make a real big difference for academics in your network. So if we write all write one recommendation for someone else, then collectively we can make academia a, a much nicer place. And if that's too public for you, writing an, a, a recommendation on LinkedIn, if you're too shy for that, you could just write a kind email to, to someone occasionally if, if there's something that you think they've done very well or you admire about them. We really can't change academic cultures overnight. None of us can, but I think we can all play our part, just one email or one recommendation at a time, small steps at a time. Thanks very much, um, Anne Will. And I think that brings us nicely to a close for our interview today. It has been an absolute pleasure to have had uh, the opportunity to have this conversation with you, Professor Anne Will Harzing from Middlesex University in London. Um, you're a fantastic uh, recipient of the um, Distinguished International Scholar for the Irish Academy of Management at two levels. But number one, because you're such a, an accomplished and internationally renowned scholar um, in your own right. Um, and secondly, um, and perhaps as important in some ways, and it seems to be for you personally, is that you are a, a great academic community citizen and you certainly are walking the talk. So it has been, as I say, an absolute pleasure. And I would like to thank Anthony MacDonald, the Irish Academy Management Council for setting up this webinar today and asking me to have the pleasure of interviewing you.